All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to upgrade the hard drive on this Acer laptop. This is model N17C1. Let me see if I can see closer. My right arm clavicle is broken, so it's hard to maneuver with my right arm. But anyways, okay, model N17C1. Let's see if there's a different model. Predator Helios 300 series. So there's an Acer Predator Helios 300 series. And the model again is N17C1. Um, I'm not sure if this model number is important, but PH315-51-78NP. All right, so on this, I'm just going to be doing a um, hard drive upgrade, the 2.5-inch SATA hard drive. And then we'll also take a look at the RAM here. So there's just one screw for each. These are PH1 or JS1 screws. So just take the screw out. Keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. So I'm going to take both the screws out. They look about the same, I think, but again, just to be safe, you want to keep them in order. The way I do that is I just put them with the flat side up like that on the table in the um, pattern that I remove them, so that way I know how to put them back. All right, so to get them out, you got this little triangle here. Just get underneath with your fingernail or a pry tool, okay? It's hard to do this with my left hand. I'll do the, so this is the hard drive slot. Let's see if I can do it with my right hand. I'm going to have to try and lean over. Ow, no, that hurts too much. Let's flip this over like this, and I can probably do it this way. Okay, just get underneath here and pull this up. Wow, this is really tough. Okay, let's try with my thumb. Oh, I don't know why this door is so difficult to remove. Let's use a pry tool then. All right, so I'm going to have to use a metal pry tool because it's so tough to pop this out for some reason. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, so here you go. There's the two sticks of RAM. I'm just going to pop out one of them. To pop them out, you just pull these two tabs to the side like this. Okay, it pops up at an angle, and then you can just pull this out. Here you go. The stick of RAM. This is PC42666V. So you can use any PC42666V RAM, any size you want. It helps to have matching sticks. These are two 8 gig sticks. If you want, you can put two 16 gig sticks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, put the stick back in at an angle like this, make sure it's pushed in all the way, and then clip it back down. All right, we're going to put this cover back on. Just put this like that. Okay, yeah, there's some hair stuck on there. All right. Put that in, clip the tops and sides in. It's a little tricky because these clips are so stiff. I don't know why, but it's hard to do this with one hand. Normally I would flex and bow this one outwards. Let's see if I can move my body over to give a better reach with my right hand. Okay, so usually what I would do is I would hold the center of this up here and then I would push these down, but that's kind of hurting my shoulder, so We'll see. Okay, I put this side up first. It looks like that works better. Got this side in, and then I'm going to squeeze this side in. All right, so if I can do this with a one hand disabled, hopefully you guys will be able to do this. We'll get the screw in there. That screw back in. Um, if your computer's having issues powering up, um, I would check the RAM first. A lot of times the RAM can be bad. I just wipe the connectors off with my fingers. So you just grab the RAM and then just kind of wipe it like that. I didn't do that on here, but yeah. If it's still not turning on, there's a little battery reset button here. You can use a needle or a pin and just poke on that. You'll feel it click. Press and hold that 10 to 15 seconds. And then a lot of times that will help as well. If that doesn't work, then you uh, likely have a bad motherboard and you're gonna have to get that replaced. All right, so we're gonna replace the hard drive. There's four screws holding this little tray in place. I don't know if it's gonna come with the four screws to hold the SSD in place, so if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to use some screws that I have. Um, if you need, you can order those online. Just search for two and a half inch um, SATA hard drive screws. They're the same for every type of 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. All right, so we got these four screws out. Once you get those four screws out, we're going to pull this little tray up, all right, just like this. <clears throat> all right, and yeah, it doesn't come with those screws. I don't see them. Sometimes they'll hide them somewhere for you, but I don't see any screws anywhere here. So let's go ahead and open our little container of screws. 
And let me put these in here. Okay, so I got these screws. These are like thicker type screws. Um, since he's putting an SSD, I'm just gonna grab two of them. You don't really need that many. Um, it's more just to keep it from rattling around too much. All right, so we'll get two screws here. Okay, this is hurting my arm or my shoulder. So we're gonna get the tray, put that on like that. And usually what I do is I'll put one here and then one on this corner here. We'll see if it moves around. If it does, then I'll get two more screws, all right? So get that screw and we'll stick that there. Okay. Yeah, it should be perfectly fine like that. Okay, get the other screw. Same thing. You don't really need to put screws in here if you're using a um, uh, SSD because the rattling's not really an issue for SSDs. It's more if your computer shaking around and you hear it moving and it annoys you. Um, you could also just wrap some tape over from here all the way around to here just to keep it like held in place so you don't technically need screws. All right. Anyways, we're going to line this up. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Now, I'm putting myself through a lot of pain for you guys. Hopefully you appreciate it. All right. So let's get this lined up. And then I'm going to hold the connector while I push the SSD or the drive in. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to drop this into place. Let me zoom back out. Okay, drop that into place. Make sure that these line up properly. This is kind of popping up weird, so I'm going to have to readjust it. Let's get that lined up first. There we go. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it kind of holds itself in place, even though it can kind of move a little bit, but that's not a big deal again, because it's an SSD. And we're gonna put these four screws in. Once we're installing this, because it's a new drive, you will have to initialize it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this in the video, because if I do, it's gonna show the customer's personal information. Um, but basically what you'd wanna do is start up the computer um, you'll go in the start menu, which is the little flag, the flag key that pops up all those tiles. Um, and then what you'll want to search is disk mgmt.msc. So dis, disk mgmt.msc. It'll pop up and then you can, um, it'll tell you that the drive needs to be initialized. I'll see if I can show that. Um, I'm going to pause the video and, and then I'll try and show that depending how I can hide the customer's information, but we'll see. All right. So put that cover back on, get the last screw, drop that into place. Okay. And then we'll just tighten that screw in. All right, then we're gonna flip the laptop over. I gotta be careful because my arm. Ow, ow, ow. Somehow that's hurting my right arm even though I'm not using it. Okay, or my shoulder. All right, let's zoom out here. Let's power this up and see if it boots up okay. I hope, okay, good. I was worried that his battery was dead. So computer starting up, all right. All right, so give me a second. I'm gonna check and then I'll show you. So just log into your computer. I'm gonna see if I can show this like this because I can't hold the phone up while I'm typing because my right hand screwed up or my right shoulder. So anyways, push the flag key, all right? You know, the flag key on your keyboard, Windows logo, you'll get this menu. And then like I was saying earlier, D I S K mgmt.msc. Once you do that, you'll see this icon here, disk management.msc, okay? Just press enter. Okay, once you do that, here you'll see this. Oh, let me turn the flash off real quick. Okay, so you'll see this, where it says your disk needs to initialize. I'm gonna try and use my right hand to do this. So here you go, you wanna select GPT, make sure it's on disk one, say okay. So here you'll see now that your disk is initialized, but it's unallocated. So what you'll do is you'll right click this, select new simple volume, select next. Okay, select next. And then assign the letter. You can select whatever you want. I like to have it be the next letter, which is D. All right, click next. Um, you can select what kind of partition you want, NTFS or XFAT. I usually just leave it on NTFS. And then you can name this whatever you want. If you leave it blank, it'll just show the D drive local disk. 
um, but you can name it data or whatever if you want. All right, next, I just leave it blank and we'll do that. All right, once it's done, it will automatically open up to show you this depending on your settings. If you go to this PC, then you'll now see D drive is right there. All right, so that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Um, hopefully this video was helpful um, working through the pain with my broken clavicle. Hopefully that will heal up soon too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye.